Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today in this video tutorial, I will be introducing a new humidity and temperature sensor that's SHG31. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor and let's go to the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search for the sensor as you can see on my screen and here we go and let's see what we got here. As you can see it's a humidity and temperature sensor and these are some of its more prominent features which you are able to see on my screen. Now you can also purchase a sensor from this website right from here. Well, I will be interfacing the sensor SHT31 with an Arduino Nano and Arduino code and to get the Arduino code, let's go to the source tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. Now click on the Arduino code sample and you can download the code as a zip file from this very link. Also you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to set up and let's proceed further. Further in the hardware setup, first of all the requirement is of our humidity and temperature sensor that is SHT31. Now this here is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen and this is an I2C shield. This shield is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier. So gently place this Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection. The next thing we require is a connecting cable which you can see on my screen and this is very useful in making connection with the sensor and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C sheet. Now the last part is to provide a mini USB cable for the power thing and gently insert it over the power jack. Now we are done with the connections part. Let's have a look over the interfacing code that's the Arduino code. Let's have it. Now for the interfacing part, the first step is to locate the Arduino code and for that we have to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and let's see what we got here. It's a temperature sensor, humidity temperature sensor SHT31 and here comes the Arduino code. Let's have a look over the instructions first. As you can see we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and the steps to install the Arduino are provided on this link that is arduino.cc let's open up and see what we got here and as you can see you can download the arduino software from this site and you can run it on windows mac and linux it's your choice now do it carefully after that uh, get back to the code as you can see uh, it's a .in extension file and in the code you notice that we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x44 now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600. Then in the void loop function we have a writing part where we are sending a command for 16 bit command byte as you can see it is 0x2c and 0x06 and after that we are going to read some data back from the sensor and for that we are requesting and reading 6 bytes of temperature and humidity data it's a general read command as you can see and then we have a conversion of the data takes place which is according to the guidelines and the formulas provided in the data sheet for SHT31 well at the end of the code what do we require is to show the output on the serial monitor as you can see on my screen which is the temperature in celsius along with the fahrenheit scale and the relative humidity in percentage RH so this is the code now what we are gonna do with this code is to see how practical it is and let's see how it works well for the working environment uh, let's see what we got there and the first step is to copy the entire code of the Arduino here and open up the terminal for the Arduino and in this terminal what we gonna do is to paste and the entire code and save it by the name SHT31 for the reference and then we have to verify and compile the code it's done compiling now upload the code it's uploaded now we have to check for the output on the serial monitor so open it up and you can see temperature in celsius and fahrenheit scales uh, relative humidity in percentage rh now it's almost constant but when i apply my finger over the sensor you can notice the change uh, in the temperature in celsius and fahrenheit scale along with the relative humidity in percentage rh so it's changing. So this is how the sensor responds to the Arduino code. Now what do we require is to have a look over the 
applications and the benefits regarding the sense of SHT31. SHT31 is the next generation of temperature and humidity sensor. It builds on a new CMOS sensor sensor chip. The sensor SHT31 has increased intelligence, reliability and improved accuracy specifications compared to its predecessor. It has fully calibrated, linearized and temperature compensated digital output. Due to these features, it is applicable in a lot of applications such as medical appliances, IoT, automotive grade, industries and a lot more to mention. Now this sensor can be purchased from the website that is called controleverything.com and you can have the code from the source tab and then you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I just want to make it clear that for any further queries you can go to and reach us on controleverything.com and for posts and comments you can go to our community page. For articles and blogs you can have a look up on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like just like this you can go to our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.